The graph of f of x is shown below. Determine where the slope of the tangent line would be zero, positive, and negative. So for review, a tangent line is a line that touches a curve at a point without crossing over it. So looking at this graph, this red line is tangent to the blue parabola at this point here. And notice how the red tangent line does have a negative slope. As we animate the red tangent line, notice how the slopes remain negative until we reach the vertex or this low point. Where at the vertex or low point, the tangent line is horizontal and has a slope of zero. And then to the right of the vertex, notice how the slopes of the tangent lines are positive. So if we go back over to the left, where the slopes of the tangent lines are negative, we may notice that over an open interval, where a function is decreasing, meaning from left to right, the graph goes downhill, or more formally, as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or function values decrease, the slopes of the tangent lines will always be negative. And then at any low point or high point, as long as the curve is smooth, the slope of the tangent line is going to be zero because the tangent line will be horizontal. Then over an open interval where a function is increasing, meaning the graph goes uphill from left to right, or more formally, as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or function values also increase, the slope of the tangent line will always be positive. So going back to our example, let's first determine where we have horizontal tangent lines. You'll notice at this high point here, the tangent line would be horizontal because the slope of this line is zero. The tangent line would also be horizontal at this low point here because the tangent line has a slope of zero. So notice how the horizontal tangent lines occur at x equals negative five and x equals two. So below here, let's say the horizontal tangent lines occur at x equals negative five comma positive two. And now to determine where the tangent lines would have positive slopes and where they would have negative slopes, let's read this graph from left to right. So notice how to the left of this high point or over this interval here, the function is going uphill from left to right or the function is increasing, which means the slopes of the tangent lines would be positive. As an example, if we sketch the tangent line here, we can easily see this tangent line has a positive slope. So to express this interval using interval notation, we would say the open interval from negative infinity to negative five. We're using rounded parentheses here because we do not want to include negative five in this interval because we know at negative five, the slope of the tangent line would be zero. Now the interval between this high point and this low point, notice how the function is going downhill from left to right, meaning it's decreasing and therefore, the slopes of the tangent lines in this interval would be negative. As an example, if we sketch a tangent line here, we can easily see the slope of this line is negative. So this interval is the open interval from negative five to positive two. So here we'll say the tangent lines with negative slopes occur on the open interval from negative five to positive two. Now to the right of this low point, notice how the function increases again because it's going uphill from left to right, which means the slopes of the tangent lines in this interval, again, are going to be positive. As an example, if we sketch a tangent line here, again, we can easily see the slope of this tangent line is positive. So here where we're given the intervals where the slopes of the tangent lines are positive, we'll say union the open interval from positive two to positive infinity. Let's also express these intervals using inequalities. So for the open interval from negative infinity to negative five, we could say this is when x is less than negative five. For union, we could use the word or. And then for the interval from two to infinity, we could say x is greater than positive two. And then for the open interval from negative five to positive two, we could say x is greater than negative five and less than two. Now the reason why we care so much about tangent lines to a curve is that they give us the instantaneous rate of change of the function at a given x value. And we'll soon learn that the slope of the tangent line 
is equal to something called a derivative function value, which again gives us an instantaneous rate of change. I hope you found this helpful.